What I'd like to see God do through pulling back the shades, first of all, is open our eyes. And I think um, even the title of pulling back something and look at what's really going on, we've just kind of been lulled into um, sexuality in a perverse way. Just watching TV, you see commercials, you see sexual innuendo, you see references uh, to pornography where people think it's funny. And we've really lost our sense of outrage and uh, danger when it comes to what's happening with sexuality. And so we hope that pulling back the shades, first of all, will be a wake-up call so that you begin to see what's happening in our culture, not just as guilty little pleasure type thing, but really as the movement of the enemy. And, uh, and you'll begin to look in your own life as I have in my life and begin to ask, Lord, what's there that's not holy? And how do I set apart my sexuality in marriage and in my mind and in my heart as something that honors you and that's holy? And, and then another thing that we hope that you do is that you realize that God created sexuality. That is not something bad that God redeems, but it's actually something he created to be good and to be a beautiful picture of his love for his people. And he wants to redeem it in your life. That might mean he wants to take you through healing for things that you've been exposed to or trauma you've experienced. It might mean that he wants to show you the redemptive power of forgiveness. If there's nothing you've done in your past that's beyond the power of the cross and the power of his forgiveness. Uh, and he might want to call you like he's called me, like he's called Dana Grush to be on the front lines of this battle, to be engaging with women and talking and praying with them about these sort of topics, to take a stand, an unpopular stand in our world, but a stand that pleases the Lord.